I have just realized that, as usual, I am unprepared for the joke, but people <laughs> hang on for a hot minute. I have got one here. I didn't remind you because it's like, oh, maybe she'll forget the joke and we don't have to be subjected to your amazing humor. Are you ready? You see, you didn't have a plan. Yes, I'm ready for your joke. Why did the painting go to jail? Nicole, I'm racking my brain and as smart as I think I am, I don't know why did the painting go to jail. It was framed. (laughs) Okay, welcome back, listeners. Please, can we talk about something else, Nicole? I'd really <laughs> like to get excited about uh, the new style of events we're running this year. We had a really successful tour last year, our Australian World Tour, uh, where we taught you all about, I think, what was there in the end? 50-odd uh, ways to improve your business. Lots. Stacks. We've changed it up this year. We've changed it up because we are responding to what we see overwhelmingly. We have lots of appointments with amazing trade business owners. And when we ask them some pretty pointed questions about their plan and their direction and where they'd like to end up, most of them scratch their heads and they don't really know. And it's pretty common, I think. We just don't make time to stop and think about where we're going. Mm. We might have a grand plan of... Um, starting a trade business so that we can have more flexibility, more time with the family, um, make enough money so we can have lots of holidays. And generally for most of us, that doesn't happen very readily at all. I know in my circumstance, it certainly didn't. Um, And then when we start to get down into the tin tacks of what a plan might look like for them, there's really nothing else to it. So we are responding to that overwhelming information we get back time and time again. And creating a brand new event for 2023 that we're bringing to Brisbane, Sydney, and Melbourne in that order over the next six months, seven months. I'm not going to tell you what it's called, though. <laughs> hey, going, Coxie? You good? I'm good. I'm well, committing I'm- to my not talking over you intention for 2023. <laughs> I think we broke that in the podcast we recorded. Yeah. Earlier this week. I keep going to jump in because like, oh, 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 because I get, I have these great ideas and I get excited and it's like, oh, shut up. Coxie's still talking. Anywho, I I was actually listening to you talk about a plan, Nick, and you said, you know, go into business, more free time, flexibility, better money for the family, all that sort of stuff. And um, something that we see is... I think a bit of confusion about what a plan is mm. and and what makes for an effective plan or a, a plan that works. Mm. And I reckon many of you listening to this episode have made some sort of a plan, business plan over the years and probably had varying degrees of success with it. I've done some fancy business plans over the years myself and helped clients build amazing business plans if you measure amazing by how many pages they were. <laughs> But they didn't do shit for their business or their lifestyle because they're too complicated, they're too boring, Um, nobody really remembered what was in it, and so they didn't take enough action Mm. around it. And I reckon that's one of the keys to a great plan is what are the action steps? Mm. I think lots of people have a bit of an idea about what they want, so that's the what, and as we've been talking a bit about lately, uh, the thing to hammer out then is the how. Mm Mm-hmm. What do you want? How are you going to get there? And so we're calling these events. Am I allowed to say that, Nick? Have, yes, have you we, can. I didn't uh, want to steal right, your okay. thunder. Oh, wow. Well. They're called, really sexy title, Plan for Profit. Woo! Now, the reason for that, I reckon, and it's a big focus for us this year, gang, is profit seems like a bit of a mystery to lots of trade business owners. And so um, a lot of people are out there with the idea that if they just work hard and stay busy, they'll make more money. And eventually, I don't know, some fairy godmother will fly down from the sky, tap you on the head with her wand and say, now you can have all this free time. But if you don't make enough profit and consistent profit in the right areas of your business as well, 
that's never going to happen. So if you're listening to this and you've been slogging your guts out for the last three years, nine years, 23 years, <laughs> whatever stage you're at, or you're just kicking off and you're thinking, I don't want to slog my guts out for the next 23 years and not have anything to show for it, that really boils down to profit. Mm. I think it mystifies a lot of people as to, yeah, but how much profit do I need to make and what are the things that actually help me make it? Which is what we're going to spend a lot of time learning. Uh, So these events, I'm not going to give away all the secrets, but I do want you to walk away from today's episode with a better understanding of what a plan for profit event might look like. Firstly, we're going to help you identify where you can find profit in your business. We're going to show you the key areas. I'm not even going to tell you how many there are. The key areas of where you can find the it's profit exciting. in your business. Um, and then we're going to help you understand how you can make changes in those areas to make profit for you and your business. And then we're going to assist you in making a plan for making some of those changes over the next 90 days so that you're getting quick results. Now, quick results don't mean lots of profit really quickly. What it does mean is you are working consistently every day for the next 90 days to make a small incremental change that will result in some profit in areas of your business. That then, of course, is going to give you an insight for what you could be doing for the entire year because we're not going to leave anything on the table. We're going to give you all of the information we possibly can so that you can then go on to make your own plan every 90 days moving forward so that you can keep increasing the opportunity to create profit in your business. Uh, And these, what we will be talking about will be really simple strategies. We're going to narrow it down to the key strategies, the easiest to implement, uh, the ones that will create the quickest change for you that we can. Um, We're going to give you all of the secrets that we give our tradiepreneurs. And in fact, many of our tradiepreneurs will be in the room. We'll be working through the same plan with them as well so that you can walk out at the end of that three-hour session. So it is three hours, but we're going to have a bit of a break in between, lots of talking. You won't get stuck. It's not boring. It's a workshop. It's not just come and sit and listen to a lecture. And at the end of that three hours, you're walking out with your very own in your hand paper copy of a plan which is essentially a bunch of steps that if you take um, the action around those steps, if you if you follow through on what we talk about on the day, you will be having that possibility to create the profit in your business that you deserve. Now, here's the thing. We have been doing this sort of um, session with our tradiepreneur clients for years. This mm-hmm. is a staple part of the program. So what we're actually doing is instead of running a separate event for people like you listening to the pod to come along and learn some stuff from us and meet us and chat to some other tradies, we figured it made sense just to actually include you in our client gig. Mm -hmm. So um, you'll be sitting in the room with our tradiepreneur clients, many of them kicking some awesome goals. Uh, And so it's kind of like, you know, we're opening up the stage door so you can sneak in the back um, to the green room and uh, hang out with the inner circle. Um, so it is free, as mm. we've said, because we, Nick and I are, you know, we, we do all right and we really are sticking to our plan this year, which is to continue to drive forward with our mission of, of supporting Um, as many tradies as we can to change their lives and improve your family's life. So come along. Um, There's no cost. Come and hammer out a plan. We just want to see you make some better progress this year than you have in the last few years. And goodness knows it's been a tough freaking ride for the last few years. So um, come along, uh, meet us. We'd love to meet you as well. Um, And basically, yeah, as Nick said, walk away with something that you can use. You you, you know, it's Mm -hmm. like going to to a tool shop and walking away with a free tool and it's not me. No, because we can't spread you thin <laughs> enough. Uh, can, I, can we address a couple of elephants in the room? First and foremost, this is not a sales event. This is not about us convincing you to join the program while you're there. So we won't be talking too much about the program. Yes, naturally it comes into the conversation. You're in the room with a bunch of tradiepreneurs, but it's not about pressuring you to buy uh, into our program. And... I really want to out us, so we're going to have to put an explicit warning on this episode. Okay. We are firm believers. In fact, it took Warwick quite a few years for me to be convinced to be to be okay with calling myself a business coach 
We think most business coaches are wankers. We really do. Just like you listening to us, we think for the most part they're stuffy. They talk about 10xing your business and promise <laughs> huge, amazing results that are almost impossible for you to get. And I want to make a promise to you, a commitment to you. We are A, not like that, and none of that languaging or there'll be some wanker speak because you can't avoid it when you're talking about business at a higher level, though we are not like some of those other business coaches that you see. The way you hear us here on the podcast is exactly the same way you're going to find us in the room on the day. We are silly. We like a joke. We have a bit of fun. We swear. We don't mind a beer. And we're going to have a great afternoon together helping you find that profit in your business, those opportunities, so that you can move forward with the least amount of bullshit that we can hopefully bring to the table on the day. We're we're not about bullshit here. We're about just removing the excuses and moving forward to get those results that you deserve in your business. <laughs> oh, now that you've said that, Nick, I'm gonna I'm gonna fly very close to the sun here and share a conversation I had with someone <laughs> a little while ago. Um, I actually tried to refer somebody to another business coach and because I thought they'd be the best fit for them. Mm-hmm. Um, and the response was, oh, yeah, I know that coach, um, but they're a bit of a wanker. <laughs> so do you know anyone else? <laughs> I thought... <laughs> When you just outed us there, it's like it's such a common yep. perception of business coaches and business coaching. And oh, look, I've 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 been through my wanker phase as a business coach in the last fifteen years. Fortunately, it was the first seven years of my fifteen years of coaching. I don't think I'm a wanker now. If I am, please let me know, listeners. <laughs> um, but yeah, I I can't stand the way. So many coaches complicate the shit out of everything and make it, as you say, Nick, you know, 10x your business. Why can't we just say, going to increase your profits so you can take a fucking holiday? There you Mm. go. Now I've made it a really explicit episode. Um, Why can't we just do that? Why do we have to talk in all these acronyms and bloody wanker speak? So I'll apologize in advance if some of my old finance background language slips into our our gigs, uh, but ultimately... We just want you to make enough money to tick some boxes on your goals list this year to get some of the friggin' time back that you probably flushed down the toilet in the last three years um, and not feel so bloody stressed. Mm. And it really is quite simple um, and just blows me away that more people aren't doing this. So um, join us um, in wherever the gig is that works for you when you're listening to this. We'll throw out some more episodes like this to make sure um, you're kept in the loop about when they're on and everything. Check our socials. Uh, we'll be posting like crazy about it. And uh, come and meet some of our gang too. They're an awesome bunch of people. They're way smarter than us. Uh, <laughs> Better looking. Yeah. <laughs> really generous with everything they give you in terms of their feedback and their support. So, uh, yeah, our, our crew of clients are friggin' amazing and they make me proud every day. So come and meet some of them. Come hang out with us. Um, walk away with an action plan to get some better results this year. And um, if I use any wank speak, I'll shout everyone a, a beer. The good news go. is we're shouting everyone a beer anyway, so you're no, free an extra now. one. Out of my – not, not out, of, <laughs> out of our expense account, Coxie, out of my personal wallet. That is a challenge I will be holding you to. I could be very drunk by the time we <laughs> – <laughs> I'll shoo the moths out of my wallet and I'll shout everybody that attends a beer if I use any wank words. As I'm a- looking forward to this. <laughs> Don't tell my wife I said that. She'll kill me. <laughs> well, I hope that we meet a whole bunch of you over the next uh, seven-ish months. Um, we have those three events in the three different states. And, yes, we do focus on um, the Eastern Seaboard. That's because that's where, at the moment, most of you are listening from. Hmm. Um, if you have a burning desire to get us over to Adelaide or to Perth or even down to Tassie, please reach out and give us some feedback so that we know that you're interested. We're dying to get to New Zealand, so if enough of you say you want us over there, we will be there with bells on. Uh, even in the middle of winter if we have to. But please, feedback's great. If you want to send us through some feedback on where you'd like to see us, we'd love to continue those conversations with you and hopefully get to meet a bunch of you in the very near future. Thanks for listening, gang. Have a fantastic week and we'll see you in the flesh some stage this year. Hooroo.